All right, everyone, Supreme Kami Obi here, and today we have finally gotten the retreat rewards over here. So, for every 500 retreat, we were able to get one L badges over here. So, as you guys can see, we were able to accumulate up to, I believe, we were hitting up to uh, 2500, which did allow us to get five L badges over here. So, this was uh, the video from Gorgeous over here. So, I think it was like if we were able to get the retreat, like you know, for every 500, for example, before or their video releases we were able to get some l badges and it looks like we will be getting five um i believe right now we check in game real quick you know let me do go back in the game real quick um i believe we do already have it so let's see uh i think right now i'm just kind of curious what kind of part we are looking at so uh, this is going to be the nsn's uh campaign reward over here so like every time when the jp twitter actually does anything um i think globally everyone is able to benefit from it so i think next time actually i will be doing like a youtube post just kind of informing people uh we have something like that so you guys can just go ahead if you got if you guys have twitter or if you guys are planning to make a twitter um it's, it's kind of good you know just helping out the whole community as a whole so it's not that bad um so let me receive it so I'm just kind of wondering where they're leveling this at because uh, we do kind of take a look at the exchange page. Um, the like where the end office is uh, not that big of a list, so I'm just kind of wondering like what kind of unit can we actually use the averages on? So we will just kind of take a look. So under the exchange page, we'll be going over to the special tab and oh oh no looks like it is the same batch exchange ticket tab no oh no ah! they didn't update this at all oh no yeah this is this list right now what we're looking at is oh i want to say the series the hairs are when did this one came out I know they all came out right before the second year anniversary. So these are all, like these are not, in terms of portrait, they're not up to any of those 40% uh, trades. So I'm not, I'm not saying all the unit in here is bad. Like I'm not talking about the specific unit. Um, you guys can definitely have your own ticks on whichever units you guys like. But in terms of the portrait, they suck. You know, they're not those uh, double 40% trade. So in terms of what you guys may want to use for your L badges, for example, maybe go for some EXQ instead because the uh, EXQ are pretty much going to be timeless. Um, they do not falter like they are. They are going to be pretty much good forever because uh, in terms of custom EXQ, like your cinematic EXQ, they are pretty much going up to S power. You know by you know just any of the standard norm. Um, so yeah, it's kind of bad like kind of do wonder like why don't they update this banner up to maybe some of the newer six stars like you know maybe right before a seven star they can make a cut right there but man only up to the seri kind of sucks but um something i would say 100 percent guaranteed like I, I say this is the best part to kind of use the ad badges on is uh, definitely going to be your bills which one is this one this one the build strike galaxy cosmo um this one is definitely one of my top pick for sure uh, the part that you want to alterate is uh, definitely going to be this one uh let me go over to my part list uh, filter by max um i guess max six star and shoe uh the one that i'm definitely going to be recommending is uh, definitely going to be you guys already know the cosmo shoe over here so this one is still to this day um, this one came out probably last year, like early last year. Uh, this is still one of the more powerful portraits you guys can be looking at. So when buffed the EXQ power boost by 30% and then when buffed it, buff EXQ effects up by 30%. So you guys do know I've been talking about this shield since forever, like since ever since this shield releases. Um, this is probably one of the best shield in terms of like actually dealing good damage. But the only condition is that if you guys are using EXQ that comes with attack buffer, just anything with a buffer. So I'm just going to quickly go over what I mean by buffing, right? Um, just in case uh, some, like some of you guys are kind of like, what, what what do you mean? You know, like, what do you mean by buffing, right? Um, so if you guys quickly take a look at some of your, you know, EXQ, um, specifically some custom EXQ, for example, um, if you guys see effects along the line of like, um, speed, I believe it does not benefit from the buff, uh, buff, the buff trade per se. But uh, let's say if you're looking at some health recovery, 
Or if you look at some melee attack for example, like oh this one is buffing your squad attack up by 22% for example. Um, since the the galaxy, uh, the, the castle ship for example is buffing 30%. So basically you're taking that 30% and then you're adding on top of this one over here. So basically you're doing a 52% instead of only a 22%. And keep that in mind, they are at, uh, they, they add up, they, they stack. So if you have multiple of those above traits, um, you are able to continuously add those of uh, those percentage and add on to these DX skills. So that's why uh, buff trade are going to be a lot more powerful if you are using three EX skill, you know, at least two EX skill with these um, effects up here. You guys should be pretty much good to go. So that is uh, definitely going to be my first choice. Uh, if you guys do have the castle shield, or if you guys are planning to use uh, what kind of shield is good. But I think right now the most powerful shield in game in terms of melee and then for shooting is uh, definitely going to be these two per se. Um, let me just go over the shield and probably build to by six star. I think I have them at six star, right? I'll actually do by date. Um, I think the more powerful one now you guys can be looking at is definitely the round shield. Uh, this is going to be from your wing zero a uh, peace grab version this one is good because this, this one is simply going to be a very good double melee boosting for uh, specifically for melee build a uh, double 40 percent uh, 40 percent rate that's why it's going to be good um but if you talk about fully buff the build um this one is still going to be slightly worse than the uh, the castle shield per se right uh the up next in terms for your shooting is uh, definitely going to be do i oh i have it i have that one at seven star so let me go to seven star um, that one is uh, going to go to your wing zero. Actually, another yeah, the wing Gundam zero. This one is uh, for your Gundam test specifically, and I max out. This one is pumping out up to a fifty percent. So this one is uh, you can say is a good replacement for the castle shield for shooting specifically. But this one, in terms of the condition, eight seconds elapsed, so it's not going to be for frame one. It's not going to be that good. But um, this is definitely some of the other option. Um, so as the remaining four tickets, I would have to say go for something you guys already have worked on um, Something you guys are using currently that you are like let's say on a use using it on a daily basis You needed to alterate to gain a good part trade for example ideally those are double boosting so uh, I think those are definitely going to be the best bet or you guys don't really care about the older generation part trade You guys want to simply focus up on the other one. I will have to say focus maybe your um, your um, your L just tore so EX goes that. But um, the last one to kind of say, oh, maybe go for it, is uh, probably. Is it in here? Let me see. Um, I guess the last one to say, maybe go for it, and it's still pretty good to this day, is uh, actually. Is it even in here? Uh, it's this one, right? Uh, the Night Unicorn. I think this one is still pretty good for the arm specifically. Because the, I believe right now we still don't have like a really good, um, you know, EX skill crew down for arm specifically. So I think um, in terms of that, that unicorn arm, that one is still not a bad option. You know, I believe prior to alteration, it does have that 20% uh, crew down on EX skill already. So you don't need to alter it. But uh, if you do want to do a little bit more damage, I'll definitely alter it to gain that. Um, but other than that, all the other ones are just kind of self-explanatory. Um, since this list is just old, like I, I was trying to recommend maybe the uh, the XC Repair Four, uh, the Bab EX Cube because it does come with a fifty nine percent at max um, in terms of the melee buffing. Uh, since that one is not in the roster, so if you guys do maybe have um, the next one on top of my mind is uh, maybe the twenty twenty Chris or the twenty nineteen Christmas banner that is looking at what is it? We are going way back to the Lupus Rex. Uh, this one over here. Um, in terms of the Lupus Rex backpack, that one is, uh, I believe, back then, that was the first one to get a um, melee buffering up to a 59%. I think this one is still pretty good. Uh, this one is still one of the, um, maybe amongst one of the more fan favorite because it's a very good uh, custom EX skill. And animation wise, top notch uh, in terms of what it's actually doing, just purely good. So, um, other than that, I don't really have any other suggestion just because in terms of over part trade uh it's like one of those a 30 to a 35 percent split so it's not just not going to be up to standard so um so i think that is pretty much it just want to cover this with you guys uh, so you guys can uh, definitely go right ahead and just kind of i i just don't really know what you really recommend in terms of this specific batch uh just because it's just old like i feel like most people I'm not gonna say, I, I don't want to say most right Maybe a lot of people have those 40% trade already and those are pretty good investment already. So I, I just don't think this list is 
too um too good you just kind of kind of unfortunate it, it just kind of like power it got power crap so but you guys can definitely let me know what kind of part you guys are planning to archery um given the outbacks we're looking at but in terms of cost ratio that one is definitely um, a, a priority anyway just because of how timeless the departure is it's just really good for both builds specifically but uh, with that being said that is going to be pretty much it and then uh, i'll catch you guys all on the next one